Hello, hello everyone. This is Chris Bakke from GamesPreview.com. I'm here to look at a game called Bragging Rights. Okay, so in Bragging Rights, you're all a group of wannabe criminals and you're sitting around a table telling ridiculous tales about your non-existent exploits. All of a sudden, you hear that a crime has been committed, and immediately, all of you are trying to claim responsibility, arguing with each other over the bragging rights. So in bragging rights, you're a criminal trying to claim responsibility for that crime. Unfortunately, the news story is only revealing one piece of evidence at a time. It's up to you to weave those bits of evidence into a convincing and engaging narrative. Along the way, you'll be trying to claim some of the street cred looks just like this. This game comes with three different kinds of cards. Your first cards are these character cards which give you a persona to play with throughout the game. You have the actual crime that's happened. Oh my gosh, the Titanic shipwreck is missing. And you've got the evidence. This is the stuff that you're going to work into your story. So this is a deck chair that you have to somehow work into your story. To set up, a crime card is drawn from the deck of crime cards and flipped up for all to see. In this case, I've drawn the Eiffel Tower Deconstructed Overnight card, and that's the crime we're all going to be claiming to uh, commit here. Uh, every person will get five evidence cards, one, two, three, four, five, and then the rest of the cards will return to the box. With their evidence cards, each player will secretly pick one card to discard, one card to go face down into the stack of evidence and then keep the other three secretly in their hand. So I drew the deck chair, an untuned guitar, a model airplane, a cocktail sausage on a toothpick, and a half empty bottle of whiskey. So I'm going to take this cocktail sausage here and that's going to be discarded out of the game and I'll take the half empty bottle of whiskey put that face down there. The other three cards are mine secret. I'm also going to give out uh, these street cred tokens, uh, a total of the number of players plus one uh, for each player at the beginning of the game. These are going to be used to challenge other people's stories, basically, and as time goes on, you're going to want to have more of them. All right, so I've got the crime that's been committed here. I've got the evidence that's been collected by all the players and the rest of the stack here. I've got my character card here, and I've got my street cred here. First player is whomever most recently committed a crime. They're going to take the topmost evidence card from the stack. This is a half-empty bottle of whiskey, and they're going to tell the story of how they deconstructed the Eiffel Tower overnight using, or leaving behind, a half-empty bottle of whiskey. So I got really drunk. I got some people together, we got together, and we were picking out the best ways to deconstruct the Eiffel Tower, and, well, we must have accidentally left uh, one of our bottles of whiskey behind. I don't know how it happened, but there it is. So before the first player starts to tell their story, if anyone wants to use an evidence card from their hand to replace it, they can. So uh, I might use one of my cards here the, from my hand, the deck chair, and I might be like, I, I think this is the evidence that was left behind instead. Now this can continue, but only until the first player begins their story, and the first player is known as the braggart. At this point, this evidence is now locked into the narrative. It can't change anymore. The braggart tells the group about how they committed the crime and how they accidentally left this piece of evidence behind. So, I, yeah, I, that's right. I deconstructed the Eiffel Tower overnight, and we brought the deck chairs out, we brought all the tools out, and we packed up all the tools, but, you know, we just forgot to, to pick up this desk chair because the sun was coming up and we were, uh, we were worried about people coming around. So, you know, we, we just forgot about it. You know, it happens sometimes. So I finished my story. The player to my left becomes the new braggart. And this person must now explain why it was, in fact, them who committed the crime and how they left the same piece of evidence, but they can't use the same reason as a previous player. Now, at any time... If an aspect of a braggart story seems inconsistent, any other player can declare challenge by wagering those street cred tokens I was talking about. 
So challenging someone by wagering your street cred tokens is kind of like calling BS. I don't think that story seems quite right. It seems inconsistent, whatever. But I'm putting my, my money, in this case where my mouth is, I think that that story is not very consistent and I'm going to challenge you on it. I'm going to question you about it. At that point, the challenger calls a vote. All other players vote for whom they think won the challenge. In other words, is that story still inconsistent or did the person telling the story give a good plausible reason? So everyone's told a story about how they deconstructed the Eiffel Tower with a deck chair overnight. And then once that happens, the last player is now the first player. They're going to reveal another piece of evidence that was left behind, a cocktail sausage on a toothpick. And now that person is going to tell the story about how they left behind the deck chair and the cocktail sausage on a toothpick. And again, you're trying to tell different stories and you're kind of opening yourself up if you make your story inconsistent. So it's a chance to be ridiculous and crazy without, but it can't be too crazy, right? Because if it's too crazy, then your other players will call you out on it. So the game finishes when three, four, or five evidence cards have been revealed from the stack, and this is based on the number of players. So by this point, each player is told the story about how they committed this crime, but they left this diff different evidence behind, and now it's time to vote on which player's story was the most entertaining. And so on the count of three, you'll all point at the person you think had the best story, and whoever got the most vo votes wins this crime card. And this crime card is worth one street cred per person. So if, uh, if you're in a five player game, then you're gonna get five street cred points from the bank, basically. Okay, so I really like the storytelling aspect of the game. I think it'll be a lot of fun with some outgoing people. You can easily see this being a game you play over some beers. And you're not even doing this as yourself, right? You've got these character cards that give you another person to play basically so you can almost take you out of the equation as you're playing all together so check it out on kickstarter uh, this is chris baki from gamespreview.com thank you so much for watching my very first video